Have you ever thought about eating bugs for dinner? You probably don't know this, but bugs and insects are eaten very casually around the world. Insects as food or edible insects are insect species used for human consumption. They are even used as an ingredient in processed food products such as burger patties, pasta, or snacks. The cultural and biological process of eating insects is described as entomophagy. Even the United Nations have stressed the importance of consuming insects. According to the data, some 2 billion people eat a wide variety of insects regularly, both cooked and raw. Let us look at 10 insects that are safe to eat, but before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number 10. Butterflies If you think butterflies aren't insects, we're here to tell you that you're wrong. These beautiful creatures do more than look pretty fluttering across a meadow. Butterflies during their larval and pupil stages are full of protein and iron. They're very popular in African countries and are an excellent supplement for children and pregnant women who may be deficient in these nutrients. In Central and South America, fat and fleshy agave worms, which live between the leaves of the agave plant and turn into butterflies, are highly sought after for food and as the famed worm dropped into mezcal, a Mexican liquor. Cultivation of these worms could help protect them from extinction. Number 9. Earthworms Worms are completely edible. As a kid, you've played with these more than you've eaten them, and if you haven't, then we feel sorry for you. But they aren't only to be played with. There are many parts of the world where worms are regularly eaten. Maybe thinking of them as free-range, very fresh spaghetti will help you in eating them. But always remember to squish out the feces first. If it just rains, spotting these little insects should be pretty easy as they'll be everywhere. If it hasn't rained, they can be found in soil, in decomposing flora leaves, or under rocks. After catching them, enjoy the meal, but make sure they're cooked. While worms can be eaten raw in an emergency, you should cook them if at all possible. Like most of the things on this list, they can potentially carry parasites. Number 8. Grasshoppers, Locusts, and Crickets A large majority of the 80 grasshopper species found worldwide are edible. In the West African country of Niger, crickets are sold roadside as snacks, like a burrito. Sometimes even in a burrito. In Mexico, the Chapolina is the most popular edible cricket in Latin America. It's cleaned and then toasted in lemon, garlic, and salt for taste. Locusts are found in swarms and are thus easy to catch. Popular species of edible locust include the brown locust, the red locust, and the desert locust. Because locusts are considered pests, they're often sprayed with organophosphate pesticides. Grasshoppers and locusts are collected in the early morning because they are cold-blooded and are immobile during the cold early morning hours. Crickets are hard to farm because they have long life cycles. Therefore, only two species of cricket are farmed commercially, Gryllus bimaculatus and Acera domesticus. Interestingly, Cambodians love to eat commercial crickets and prefer them to crickets caught in the wild because they claim farmed crickets taste better. In addition to being eaten, crickets in China are also kept as pets and bet on in cricket fights. Would you ever want to bet on a cricket? No, we're not talking about the sport. Number 7. Termites Termites are least likely to carry any parasites because they live most of their lives in woods. They're full of proteins and completely safe to eat. They may be best known for chewing through wood, but in Africa and other parts of the world, they're known as food. Rich in protein, fatty acids, and other micronutrients, termites also have iron and calcium. They're served fried, smoked, or sun-dried. Mature adult termites have wings and can fly. The other stages can't fly, and these are the types that have the most proteins. And they're also the easiest to snag. In some cultures, termite queens are regarded as a delicacy. Yes, you can feel like royalty while eating insects. You only need hands to catch them, so break open a punky log and grab them or shake them out fast. As soon as they see light, they'll crawl deeper into the wood. Roast them in a dry pan, you want these critters cooked up crispy, and after that, bon appetit. Number 6. Grubs Most people are scared to hear the name grubs, but you'll be surprised to know that there are over 344 grub species eaten around the globe including the witch dee grub in Australia, palm weevil grubs in some Asian countries, and giant water bugs in North America. When someone says grub, they're typically referring to the larval stage of a beetle. Some of them are small and crunchy like mealworms, and some are fat and juicy like rhinoceros beetle larva. The best place to collect them is in rotting logs. You can also try searching for them under rocks and leaf litter. 
To catch them, you need a stick or a rock. Find a rotting log, strip the bark off the log, or smash the log to see if there's any more inside. You can grab them with your fingers as they're not exactly fast, roast them in flames, and enjoy your meal. Number 5. Caterpillars Caterpillars are eaten a lot around the world. For example, in Mexico, maguey worms and caterpillars are farmed in large amounts because of the demand. These bugs are full of nutrition and are either braised or deep fried. They can also be seasoned with a spicy sauce and served in a tortilla. These caterpillars are also among the worms found in bottles of the alcoholic spirit mezcal. The Mopani caterpillar is the most popular caterpillar consumed worldwide, which is found in the Mopani woodlands. The Mopani woodlands are a huge swath of land which extends over South Africa, Mozambique, Namibia, Botswana, Angola, and more. It's estimated that 9.5 billion caterpillars are harvested each year in Southern Africa, and the market is around $85 million in valuation. Number 4. Beetles Only larvae beetles are eaten by people. In Cameroon, women who harvest the palm weevil put their ears to the trunk of a palm tree in an attempt to listen for larvae. In addition to the palm weevil, several other species of beetle are eaten worldwide, including aquatic beetles, wood-boring larvae, and dung beetles. In the Netherlands, species of mealworm, specifically the lesser mealworm, yellow mealworm, and superworm, are used to feed reptiles and fish. People in the Netherlands are also encouraged to eat such insects because of their nutritional value, and in specialized shops, mealworm is also available as food for humans. Number 3. Earwigs Earwigs are easy to find, but most people don't know what they are. These insects could be your lunch in desperate times. Earwigs are edible and safe to eat as they don't have stingers. They don't have venom either. They look like a cross between an ant and a scorpion and are about the size of a coin. When agitated, they might try to attack with their pinchers, but those pinchers usually don't break the skin or even hurt very much. These guys are pretty easy to find if you want to eat them. They live under things. They're pretty fast, but also pretty harmless. Looking under logs and things that look like they've been undisturbed for a while is a good place to start. They like dark, wet places. Find something to wiggle like a rock or a log, and that's your lunch. Just put them in a container and cook them with spices. And with that, it is now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Ants. This picture seems like it was edited, but we get the reason why someone would make this. This picture includes an ant. Ants are one of the most common insects to be eaten. In addition to being considered a delicacy in many parts of the world, ants are also used as pest control for crops. They're pretty incredible animals and of benefit to humans. If you're thinking that it takes a lot of ants to make a meal, then you're right. 100 grams of red ant, which is around 1,000 ants, provides some 14 grams of protein, which is more than eggs, nearly 48 grams of calcium, and a nice hit of iron among other nutrients. All that in less than 100 calories. Plus, they're low in carbs. Certain kinds, especially the larvae and pupae of the weaver ant, are in high demand in Asia. They're considered a delicacy in parts of South America where some of the top chefs often use them in high-end dishes. A good source of protein, they're said to have a lemony, citrusy flavor. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Scorpions When you hear the name scorpion, you probably think that they're one of the most poisonous creatures out there. But not all of them are dangerous. In fact, scorpions are common street food in China and can be found in California, Arizona, New Mexico, and other southwestern states. They taste a bit like crab. If you decide to dine on a scorpion, make sure that you cut the stinger off first. Usually the venom is produced and stored in the top two or so segments of the tail. Cooking generally negates the venom's poisonous properties, but you can still have an allergic reaction to it. You're not likely to get stung by a scorpion after it's dead, unlike a bee or a wasp. It's best to avoid eating them, but if you're in a life and death situation and have nothing else to eat, make sure to cook them. These living dangerous thumbtacks reside in dens. You'll have to find a den if you want scorpion for dinner. They are dangerous, so to catch them you need a jar with a lid, hands, and a murder weapon like a stick or a knife because they are dangerous. To catch them, first find their den. 
they'll be burrowed under overhanging rocks or logs. Dig a hole right in front of the burrow large enough to accommodate an open mouth jar, water bottle with a top cut off, or a cup. When the scorpion emerges at night, it will fall into the jar and be unable to climb out. Kill it with a stick or a knife while it's still in the jar, cut off the stinger, and roast over a fire or coals until it's well browned.